everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another reacting to my subscribers guinea pig cages video. So if you all are not familiar, I think this is like the ninth or 10th video that I have done where I react to your cages, give my thoughts, my feedback, and my personal opinions. If you're interested in submitting your cage for a future reaction video, you can send it to autumngracebusiness at gmail.com. Um, I will probably not get to all the cages in my inbox. Um, I have hundreds of emails. If you sent in your cage a while ago and I never got reviewed, just go ahead and send it in again um, and we will see if perhaps I can get it into the next video. Um, yes, I have 10 cages here to review and just before we get started, brief disclaimer, um, I am not a professional. This is not official advice from a professional. This is just my personal opinions on your cages based off my personal experience, my personal thoughts, etc. Um, none of this is official advice, just my personal opinion. This is the first cage right here. It says, hello, I don't know if you still do these videos, but just in case, here is my cage. I have two girls in two Midwest cages and their names are Missy and Bailey. I believe this is a little under 16 square feet. I use your old cages as, as inspo, but ended up getting rid of the canvas bottom because the core plastic is easier, is easier to maintain. Yeah, so I actually had this exact same setup, um, like they said, about two years ago when I had my first two and three guinea pigs. It's just two Midwest cages connected together and then uh, they actually replaced the canvas bottom with Coroplast, which is an excellent idea. The canvas bottom on the Midwest cages, it's fine, but it is really hard to maintain and it's really hard to clean and it's just not as sturdy or durable as the Coroplast is. So definitely love that you changed it out to the Coroplast. Also, this color scheme is gorgeous. Like when I saw this email, I was like, I have to include uh, these photos in this review video because I love all the brown, the natural colors. It just looks absolutely stunning. I think I don't really have any critiques on this cage, to be honest. We have a litter box. We have multiple water bottles. We have multiple hides, a variety of hides, um, pellets. I see a few toys hanging here. Maybe you could do a couple more toys, but I mean, obviously you clearly already have some. I think just to make sure that your guinea pigs are not inclined to chew on uh, the leaf decoration you have going on here. It's very pretty. Uh, just make sure they don't want to chew on it or they don't try to chew on it because those are obviously fake leaves, I'm assuming. Uh, same for this cord that goes back here. Just make sure they don't have any interest in that. Some show interest, some do not. So it just depends on your guinea pigs and making sure that those things uh, don't present a hazard to them. But overall, um, I completely love this cage. Gorgeous cage, lots of room for two girls. Uh, perfect example of a great cage. So thank you for your submission. All right, up next, this is cage number two. And the email said, this is my cage. I have one female that lives in this cage. The cage is 3.75 square feet. I am planning to upgrade soon though. So uh, the first thing I'm definitely going to um, address with this cage is the size. Um, it seems clear that you are aware that 3.75 square feet is not enough space for a guinea pig. If you have a single guinea pig, you wanna be giving them at least eight square feet. And if you're planning to get her a friend, I would recommend 10 square feet. Um, I do recommend getting your gu guinea pig a friend. Uh, being a female, she does have a higher chance of being able to bond with other females. I definitely recommend looking into your local guinea pig shelters, rescues, uh, foster networks, etc., rehoming websites, Facebook groups, wherever and seeing if you can find your girl a friend. There are many guinea pig rescues out there that offer bonding services if you don't know how to bond or you don't feel confident enough to bond your guinea pig on your own. Uh, I will link in the description Scotty's Animals website. He has a list there of a bunch of guinea pig rescues that you could go to, see if there's some uh, in your state or in your area to possibly get her a friend. But obviously before you get her a friend, uh, you will want to upgrade this cage to at least eight or preferably 10 square feet. Uh, you could do a DIY cage, you could do a CSC cage off of a website such as Guinea Pig Cages Store, 
Or, you know, if you are low budget and you don't want to spend too much on a cage, DIY is perfectly great. That's what I have for all my cages. Uh, some grids, and then you can use Coroplast shower liner as your waterproof base. And that will just uh, obviously give your piggy the space that she needs. Um, in addition to the space concern, my second main concern is gonna be this hay situation. So hay is going to be about 80% of your guinea pigs diet. They need to constantly be eating hay and have access to clean fresh hay to help wear down their teeth and to keep their GI systems moving. So with guinea pigs, uh, their GI system must be constantly moving, meaning they are constantly eating, meaning the hay is the bulk of their diet and it should be easy for them to access and it should be constantly available. So my main concern with hay racks that look like this is that that hay is not easily accessible. Uh, your guinea pig has to work to pull out that hay. Um, and since your guinea pig doesn't have a friend, uh, burrowing in hay is something that she may want to do as a natural behavior uh, that could occupy her time, uh, keep her busy, keep her enriched and interested in life, um, keep her from getting depressed or something like that. So I definitely recommend moving this hay into the cage, doing a large pile, that way she can burrow. Um, also, I would definitely add some toys since she is alone for now. You definitely want to make sure that she's just not sitting in her cage all day staring at a wall. Uh, guinea pigs need more than a wall to stare at to, uh, to keep them happy and enriched. So definitely get her some toys, move that hay inside the cage, upgrade the cage, and then consider getting her a friend from a local rescue, foster network, rehoming, or other resource like that. Uh, thank you for your submission. Um, I definitely, definitely recommend doing all those things that I said. Those definitely are the bare minimum of guinea pig care. And this cage is unfortunately just not a suitable size for her. Uh, yeah, thanks for your submission. All right, we are on to cage number three. This says, hi Autumn, I have six guinea pigs, but only showing two today. These little potatoes are called Dustin and Donut, like Dunkin' Donuts, that's very cute. Uh, they are living in a five by two CNC cages and the grids at the front are transparent because I heard it's a great way to gain their trust. I use Meadow and Timothy Hay for the litter trays and their bedding is fleece. All right, so first off, um, I do think your cage is a decent size for two males, a five by two, I think these were males. I'm actually not sure. Okay, I'm not sure. For some reason, I thought they were males based off the Dustin and Donut names. Um, but either way, this is a good size cage. If it's two males, I would say this is sort of the minimum size cage that you would want for two males. If it's two females, perfectly great space. So I don't think your space is an issue. Your space is great. Um, I think my main concern is the way you've broken up the space. So you have like these supports here to hold up the roof. So you have a grid here and you have a grid here. And I'm just mostly curious as to why, because in my personal opinion, you know, having these grids actually divides up the cage. So if your piggies are trying to do zoomies, they kind of have to zoom around the grids and they can't just go in like straight laps. So um, I don't think this upper level here that you have over the cage is necessary. I don't see anything that you're hanging from it. I would consider just removing that as well as these grids. And that way it really just opens up the cage, gives them more room to run, uh, more room to do zoomies, etc. You have two litter boxes, one water bottle. Um, if they're boys, I would definitely add a second water bottle just because boys can be territorial. You have a couple of toys. I would make sure these toys are too safe. I can't tell if these are like plastic cat toys, like little cat balls, etc. But I would make sure that a lot of the toys you're giving them are too safe, um, edible, consumable materials that they enjoy such as apple sticks or willow balls or anything like that where it is completely edible for them. But overall, great cage. Um, thank you for your submission. All right, this is cage number four. Hello, Autumn, I am 14 years old. I have two male pigs. Their names are Teddy and Bear. They are around two years old. I've only had them for about four months since I adopted them. Um, Teddy came from a hoarding situation. Bear was surrendered from his last owner. They have a three by six. I don't know what size the grids are, but I think they're 12 inches. I'm going to buy them some more hides, but for now they only have that one, but I'm going to get them some more toys too. First of all, they are adorable. Um, I love the names Teddy and Bear, and also they are just so cute. These are really cute guinea pigs I love. Um, I wanna assume this one is Teddy, 
just because of the color, but I love the coloring of this guinea pig right here. And your cage does look to probably be about 18 square feet of three by six, which is a perfect size for two males. So great cage space. My main concern um, is kind of things you've already addressed, you know, the lack of hides and the lack of toys. So you definitely are going to want to get more hides because guinea pigs are prey animals. They need places to hide. And one tunnel is just not really going to cut it, especially for two males. I would recommend having at least three hides, one for each pig, plus an extra since they're males. Um, that way they have plenty of places to go and get separate from each other. Uh, I would also add a second water bottle since they're males. You're going to want to have two water sources. Um, I think your one hay source is fine for now. Um, as long as they aren't showing any territorialness or fighting issues over the hay source, I would say it's a non-issue to just have one. Uh, however, definitely add highs and toys. Like you said, uh, that will be very beneficial to give them places to do natural behaviors like hiding and chewing, etc. Also, um, if you are concerned about this wall and them getting pee on it, which is something that I would personally be concerned about, just having the bare wall right up against their cage, I would definitely use these extra clear grids you have here and just add some along that back wall. That will make sure that that keeps that paint protected, that they aren't peeing on your wall or getting at stuff on your wall and basically just, you know, make their cage fully enclosed to protect your walls. But overall, I think this is a great start for your pickies. Thank you so much for rescuing them and for giving them a new home. Uh, I see a lot of potential here with your cage. So I think once, you know, you get those toys and hides in there, it will be really great for them. And thank you for your submission. All right, this is cage number five. And before I even read what the email says, you guys just need to appreciate how beautiful this is. Cow print is one of those things where like it either works or it doesn't. And I feel like this works. I love the cow print so much. I love how clean it is. I love the lights. Everything is just really, really beautiful. All right. So the email with this cage says, hello, I am a 12 year old girl from Lithuania. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. I have two boars, Cookie and Freddy. They have a six by two Cavi Grizz cage. Both of them are over a year old. I love your content and your piggies. Thank you so much. I love your cage. Um, a two by six. Oops. Too soon for the next cage. A two by six is a perfect size for two boars. Um, they are absolutely adorable. I love the long haired one right here. I love the cow print as I've clearly expressed. Um, I'm trying, it's a little bit hard for me to see the cage through the cow print, but I am seeing multiple hides. I'm seeing toys. Um, I don't know what your hay situation is like. I'm wondering if you maybe just have hay in this tube up here. Uh, that's good, but I would really consider adding some sort of larger hay source, like a hay bag or a hay pile or a litter box with a hay pile. Um, just because I can't really tell what your hay source is here, I would make sure that they have plenty of hay that is easy for them to share so they don't get territorial, being males and everything. Uh, but overall, I really like your cage. I just make sure that their hay is easily accessible uh, wherever you have it. All right, now it is time for the next cage, cage number six. The email says, this is for my single male Napoleon. I'm getting him a friend Tuesday. Just wanna know if there's anything else that needs to be done or what I can do to help bond them. So first of all, uh, this cage, definitely perfect size, huge cage, amazing cage for um, one male and will definitely be suitable for two males, uh, you got a water bottle. Once you bring home your other male, I would definitely add a second water bottle. You have a couple hides in here. I think you could do with some more toys. Um, I don't actually see very many things for him to chew on or to play with or to keep him occupied. So I would definitely consider adding some toys in here. I can see he's burrowing in his great big hay pile here. So overall, your cage great size. Um, when you get that second male, definitely add another water bottle and also definitely add toys just in general to keep both of them occupied. As far as bonding, um, I am gonna say by the time I'm reacting to this cage and responding to your email, you have probably already attempted or succeeded at getting him a friend, but I will give a smidge of bonding advice uh, just if anyone else out there is in the same position. Uh, when you are bonding guinea pigs, you are going to want to do it in a neutral area that neither guinea pig has been in. So for example, if your guinea pigs, you know, live in your 
bedroom. You might want to bond them in your living room or in your bathroom or in your kitchen or some part of the house where their scent is not there. They don't go in that part of the house. And you're going to want to make sure that everything in your bonding area is scent free. Um, clean your grids with a vinegar and water solution. Put down clean, fresh fleece fresh hay, like you just don't want scent on anything in that pen. And then you are going to put them in the pen at the same time, no hides, just a large pile of hay and basically observe their behavior and uh, stop if anything gets uh, too bad, like tornadoes or if there is blood being drawn, you're gonna wanna try and break that up. I will link some videos in the description that sort of go over positive and negative bonding behaviors but essentially the neutral area is really, really important. And then allowing your boys to establish dominance is also important, but you also want to make sure that they are not seriously injuring each other. Um, nipping, chasing, fur pulling, chattering, etc. That's very normal male bonding behavior. Um, even launching can be normal as long as none of that escalates to a serious injury or to one of the pigs being so scared and so bullied that they cannot do things like eat and behave normally. So I will definitely link some videos for anyone who needs bonding advice for you guys to watch. Um, but hopefully it's already gone well for you since I'm receiving this email so late and you have a great uh, starter cage here. And just a note for those of you bonding before your guinea pigs leave the bonding pen and go to their, their like permanent cage home, make sure that cage is also clean. Clean it all with the vinegar and water solution and make sure that that is also scent free so the scents don't disturb them. So yeah, thank you for your submission and it looks great and I hope the bond went well for you. All right, next cage. Hi, my name is Bree and my daughter's husband and I have five bonded females. They are in a four by eight cage. Their names are Miss Piggy, Bear, Gizmo Baby, and Peanut. Also, there is a shower liner underneath the cage plus a layer of washable pee pads and then a fleece. I love your channel. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Bree. I love your cage. This is a great size. Like when I opened up this email, I was so shocked. This cage is huge, uh, four by eight. I will not be attempting to do the math, but I can tell you this is definitely big enough for five females. Um, it looks like they have an amazing size litter box over here. And I love all of the little hammocks um, lined up in the middle here. That's really adorable. Um, I'm just imagining like each of them sleeping in their own hammock. And that just seems so cute. They have fleece beds here. Um, they have a bunch of toys, a tunnel. These look like little bunk beds over here, I think. Um, more toys, some night angel balls. I don't see the water bottles, but I'm going to assume they're over in this hay area. Um, I would say for five pigs, you know, you wanna have at least three to four water bottles at minimum. But overall, like I really don't think I have any critiques to this cage. If you wanted some ideas for where you could go from here, I think you could add maybe some wicker tunnels or wooden tunnels or just hides made of more natural materials to give them something to chew on. But overall, great cage. I love it. Looks great. Huge space. Uh, thank you for your submission. Who was rumbling back there? They're literally rumbling back there. Um, cage number eight. This says, hi, my name is Maddie. I am 13 years old and have two female guinea pigs, Oreo and Mocha. I have a three by five grid cage with 14 inch grids. My pigs always have a pile of hay and water. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to improve my cage. Thank you. All right, so here's the cage, three by five. Um, I'm thinking that's gonna be around 18, 20 square feet, just a rough estimate. Um, I don't know it off the top of my head, but either way, for two females, amazing amount of space. You're good on space, you're good on hides, you have lots of hides. Um, I would just make sure that these Amazon boxes, these like, I don't know what the, the sticky paper they put on those, I would maybe just consider removing that before you give it to your piggies. Just because, you know, chewing the cardboard a little bit is fine, but I would just be very cautious of them being able to chew this like sticky, shiny, colored paper type situation. Um, but I like your variety of hides. I like your hay area. I would consider maybe making it a little bit bigger um, just since you have two piggies. I'm not sure if they can both fit in here at the same time. If they can't both fit in here at the same time, I would definitely recommend um, adding maybe a second box and hay thing. You have a water bottle, you have toys. Um, overall, 
think your cage looks great. Make sure they don't have any interest in chewing on this garland right here. But besides that, um, no critiques. I love it. Thank you for your submission. All right, cage number nine. Hello, Autumn. I absolutely love your cage reacting videos and have been watching them ever since you've started doing them. So I thought I would submit my own. My cage is a six by five and a half grid cage with 12 inch grids, home to six females. I use fleece bedding, have two hay boxes, five water bottles, and one bowl for my senior pig. Plenty of enrichment. Obviously items get rotated, but I always have at least seven hides, two bean tunnels of some sort. I'm completely open to any constructive criticism you might have on how to make my enclosure better for my girls. So first off, I'm pretty sure we have been following each other on Instagram for quite some time and I always see you changing up your cage layout and they always look amazing and great and just like so much space for your girls as well as they are all so adorable. So I love them so much. Uh, your cage looks great. Let me see, I'm trying to do the math. Um, six by five and a half, that's like 30 something square feet for six females, which I would say perfectly fine there. You've got enough space for your females. I love the square shape. I think that like almost makes that space even better since they have so much room to run being such a large open area. I love that you have two litter boxes. Um, I love you have a lot of water bottles. I also love that you have a variety of hides. You have a bunch of snuffle mats and tunnels and stacking cups. And I think this is some sort of toy here. And I see a bunch of toys in this back corner. Um, I don't have any critiques for your cage. Um, I have always loved your videos on Instagram. I always love your cage. Um, I guess just make sure they don't chew on these wires. Um, I've been seeing this a lot of the cages. Mine, they would probably go for them because they are just annoying like that. You can see I have my flowers and lights at like the base of my cages so they can't reach them because if they were at the top, they would go for them. So as long as your piggies don't go for the wire, I would say you're completely good. This is a great cage, lots of space. Um, thank you for your submission. All right, last cage is cage number 10. Hi, my name's Emily and I'm 15 years old. I just want you to know that the cage can hold all four of my boys. It's only a five by three. I know it's not the most ideal space for them, but it's still a work in progress. Since right now I have no way to work and get money, but once I do, I am buying two more water bottles, a better bedding more toys for them and more hides and tunnels. Plus I'm going to expand the cage once I clean out my family's office area. And if there's any suggestions to expanding it, I would love to hear some idea ideas that are cheap but reliable. Anyways, I have four boys, Chris, Moore, Salem, and S'mores. So this is the cage. Um, like she said in the email, unfortunately, you know, a three by five, I think that's gonna be like right at the 20 square foot range. And for four males, it's definitely not the worst I've seen for four males. I think it is workable and it's doable. Um, but obviously, you know, it's great that you're going to be upgrading just because there's four males. And, you know, as your younger males, who I think you said were only like four months old, as those younger males start to approach that hormonal age, you're going to want the more space so that you can keep um, hopefully their male herd bond intact and you don't have any splits or any bonds broken as your males approach that hormonal age, your younger ones. So definitely trying to upgrade um, before your young males get too old and too hormonal to make sure they have plenty of space to spread out. That will be uh, very beneficial for their bond. Overall, um, I do like your cage. I like the multiple sources of hay. I would definitely add more water bottles. I think you said uh, when you have some more money, you're going to add more water bottles. Definitely a good idea. Um, until then, maybe some water bowls. If you already have some bowls at home, that could be good just to provide more than one water source for your four pigs. Um, you have a variety of hides. I do like that. Again, with the grid sort of in the middle here, that kind of does break up the running space in the cage. Maybe this hammock would be better in like a corner or something, and that way you wouldn't have to have a grid blocking off their running space. Uh, you have at least one hide for each pig. Um, I think adding some fleece or blankets or towels or whatever you have around the house um, on top of these grids, that could provide like some more hiding spots basically by providing some shaded areas where your boys can lay and spread out and just provide like more spaces for them to rest without being up on top of one another. That could be really good. As far as tips for expanding your cage um, cheaply. Uh, you do have a lot of grids here that it seems are just extra, like these two here, this one here, these two here, 
this year. So I would see, you know, when you expand, how, if you take those grids and put them on the outside of the cage, you know, how much more space does that get you? And I think that could be like an easy way to expand without having to buy more grids. But if you're expanding to go even bigger than that, um, obviously buying grids off of Amazon, it's not too expensive, definitely ex cheaper than buying them off a website like Cavi or something. So I use the Amazon, ba ba Amazon Basics grids. Those are, um, I think they're around $30 for a six cube pack, I think. I will link them in the description, but that's kind of like the cheaper grids that I've found that are going to, I think, match your dimensions uh, for your grids. And then as far as a base, um, if you want to save money and not purchase a uh, core blast, if you don't really care about having those sides, which I don't think you have right now, so it shouldn't be an issue, you could purchase a shower liner. Um, I would get sort of a nicer one just to make sure it's pretty durable. And you could use a shower liner on your carpet or flooring as a protective layer that can save you some money not having to buy core blast, fleece and stuff. You can get cheap fleece at Walmart, sometimes at Joann's when the fleece rolls are like at the very, very end, they will sell that cut to you for a cheaper price because technically it's not enough to do like a project with, but it's usually enough to cover a decent part of your guinea pig cage. So if you want fleece from Joann's, that's kind of a tip and trick for that. But overall, um, you have a really great start to your cage. I hope your boys bond um, continues to work well and to be fine as they go into adulthood. More space will definitely help that, but overall you have a really great cage. So thank you for your submission. And that wraps up all 10 cages that I had to review for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my content. Also, should have mentioned that at the start, but thank you all so much for 20K subscribers. I cannot believe we hit 20K. It's been a goal of mine for like over a year now. So I'm just, I'm so grateful. Thank you all so much for 20K. I will be doing a giveaway um, in a few weeks once I figure that out. But I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you to everyone who follows me, subscribes, who's been here, who supported me. Um, it truly means a lot and I am very grateful. Um, Thank you all so much and thank you for watching this video and I will see you again soon with another one. Bye-bye.